These exercises are great for burning fat, while also building a strong, invisible six-pack. Give it a go. Want a six-pack? Watch this now for rapid fat loss. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're targeting rapid fat loss with these 10 powerhouse exercises, torching calories while building a solid core. Let's go. First up, Medicine Ball Mountain Climber. Start in a high plank position with your hands placed firmly on a medicine ball directly below your shoulders, which will engage your core and upper body from the start. Begin bringing your knees alternately toward your chest in a rapid running motion, maintaining a strong core and stable upper body to avoid rocking or wobbling. Using a medicine ball makes this exercise more challenging by requiring additional stabilization, which targets your abs, shoulders, and chest. A common mistake is letting the hips drop or rise too high, which reduces core engagement. Fix this by keeping your back flat and focusing on core activation. Perform this for 30 to 45 seconds. Quick tip. Actively engaging your core during every rep boosts muscle activation, helping you build a stronger, more defined midsection. Next, medicine ball Russian twist with legs up. Sit on the floor with your knees slightly bent and a medicine ball held close to your chest. Lift your legs off the floor, balancing on your glutes, and start twisting your torso to bring the ball toward each side of your body. Keep your core engaged and control each rotation to prevent swinging. Elevating the legs intensifies the burn in your core, especially in your obliques, and holding the ball adds resistance, making the movement more effective for sculpting your waistline. A common mistake is leaning too far back or rounding the back. Fix this by keeping your spine tall and twisting slowly to feel each contraction in your obliques. Aim for 40 to 50 twists. Fun fact. Moving with control during each exercise prevents strain and focuses the effort on your core, maximizing results. Moving on to hanging straight leg raise. Hang from a pull-up bar with your arms fully extended, your grip shoulder width apart, and your legs straight below you. Slowly lift your legs until they're parallel to the floor, focusing on using your lower abs to control the movement. Pause at the top to maximize the tension in your abs, then slowly lower your legs back down without letting them swing. This is a challenging movement that targets the lower abs and improves core stability. A common mistake is swinging the legs, which reduces core engagement. Fix this by lifting and lowering with controlled movements, resisting the urge to use momentum. Aim for 10 to 12 reps with control. Did you know? Concentrating on the muscles you're working improves activation, helping you make the most of each move. Now, bicycle crunch. Lay on your back with your hands behind your head and elbows wide. Lift your knees to a tabletop position and begin by bringing your right knee toward your left elbow, extending your left leg out. Alternate sides, bringing the opposite knee and elbow toward each other as though pedaling a bicycle. Keep the movement steady and controlled, focusing on the twist through your obliques rather than yanking on your neck. This classic exercise works both the upper and lower abes, creating a powerful burn in the obliques as well. A common mistake is pulling on the neck, which can lead to strain. Fix this by keeping your elbows wide and twisting from the torso. Perform 20 to 25 reps. Check this out. Higher reps target core endurance, helping you push through each set and achieve deeper core engagement. Move on to flutter kicks. Lie on your back with your hands either beside you or tucked slightly under your hips for extra support. Lift your legs off the ground a few inches and begin fluttering them up and down in a quick controlled motion. Keep your legs straight and avoid bending at the knees with the focus on engaging your core to stabilize your body. Flutter kicks are excellent for activating the lower abs and building endurance in your core muscles. A common mistake is allowing the lower back to arch off the floor, which reduces core engagement.
Fix this by pressing your lower back firmly into the floor and keeping your abs engaged throughout the exercise. Perform for 30 to 45 seconds, feeling the burn. Pro tip, exhale during exertion to increase stability and control, supporting your core and reducing fatigue. Next up, side plank pull. Start in a side plank position with your elbow directly under your shoulder and stack your feet for balance. Extend your top arm overhead and as you exhale, bring it down and under your body, reaching as far as possible while twisting slightly to engage your obliques. Then, return your arm overhead and repeat. This movement combines stability and core rotation, working the obliques, shoulder stabilizers, and deep core muscles. A common mistake is allowing the hips to sag, which reduces core effectiveness. Fix this by lifting through your obliques, keeping your hips up and your core tight. Complete 10 to 12 reps on each side for a challenging core and stability workout. Fun fact, switching between core and cardio-focused moves burns more calories while toning, leading to faster fat loss. Next, we have V-Up Double Crunch. Lie flat on your back with arms extended overhead and legs out straight. Start by lifting both your legs and your upper body, aiming to touch your toes or as close as you can get. Engage your abs and crunch upward to meet your legs in a V position and lower back down in a controlled manner. This exercise targets the upper and lower abs simultaneously, making it one of the most effective moves for a six pack. A common mistake is letting your legs drop too quickly, which reduces the tension in the abs. Fix this by lowering with control and focusing on using your core to bring yourself up and down. Aim for 12 to 15 reps, feeling the full contraction in your abs. Did you know? Targeting lower abs with specific moves helps create a balanced, sculpted look throughout your core. Now we move on to jackknife. Lie on the floor with your arms extended by your sides and legs straight out. Lift your legs up towards the ceiling and at the same time, reach up with your arms, crunching towards your feet. As you lift, engage your lower ABC to pull your hips up off the ground slightly, targeting the lower abs and core stabilizers. Jackknife exercises require core control and coordination, making them highly effective for building abdominal strength. A common mistake is swinging the legs up. Fix this by lifting your legs slowly and focusing on squeezing your abs to bring your hips off the floor. Complete 10 to 12 reps, ensuring each lift and crunch is controlled and deliberate. Quick tip, adding rotation builds strength in the obliques, giving your ABS definition along the sides. Next, reverse crunch. Lie on the floor with your arms by your sides and knees bent. Begin by lifting your legs, bringing your knees toward your chest, while lifting your hips slightly off the ground. Focus on using your lower abs to control the lift and lower without swinging. The reverse crunch is excellent for isolating the lower abs, a notoriously difficult area to target. A common mistake is letting your legs swing back down too quickly. Fix this by moving slowly and concentrating on controlling each repetition with your abs, not momentum. Perform 15 to 20 reps, feeling the intense burn in the lower abs. Make sure you make an active effort to press your lower back into the floor and not lose contact. Fun fact, exercises involving the hip flexors support lower AB engagement, enhancing the sculpted look of your midsection. Last but not least, Plank Power Tuck. Begin in a high plank position with your body in a straight line. Use your core to pull your knees toward your chest, lifting your hips high and engaging the abs deeply. Then return to the plank position and repeat, focusing on the explosive movement of each tuck. This move is powerful for the core, shoulders, and overall stability, adding a challenging twist to a traditional plank. A common mistake is letting the hips sag on the way back to plank. Fix this by maintaining a strong core and engaging your ABS to control each tuck and extension. Perform 12 to 15 reps, emphasizing control and power with each tuck. Avoid locking out your elbows excessively.
Congratulations for completing today's workout. These exercises are incredible for sculpting a strong, defined core and shedding body fat. The key here is consistency. Stick with these moves regularly and you'll start seeing that six pack emerge. For best results, I challenge you to complete this workout three to four times a week for the next few months. Remember to focus on form over speed to get the best results. If you enjoyed today's workout, please forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, hit the notification bell, and share this video with friends and family who may benefit from it too. We look forward to seeing you in our next video, tomorrow at 8 p.m. UK time. Stop wasting your time at the gym without these exercises.